Good morning, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, it's been a while. I'm so sorry again. I try, but man, my desk is always, my recording desk is always filled with stuff I'm working on. <laughs> I just can never seem to get it clear off to um, do a video. But in any case, I actually have to tape this today because my client is coming over to pick up his um, his project or his card for his wife and so i have to film it because i really wanted to to um get a, a a project share on this and it's also for me to keep track of you know card special cards or custom card that i make for client in any case um my investment banker or our investment banker he works for charles schwab's um his wife was celebrating or is celebrating her 40th birthday um, tomorrow on July 3rd. Today is the 2nd. Um, so I'm hoping to, you know, post it tomorrow. So that way she would always already receive her card. Um, but she did, they don't know about my channel anyway, so it doesn't matter. But in any case, um, Dina is a super, super a fashionable girl and um very beautiful have three three girls and it you know her <clears throat> she's was throwing herself a birthday party a 40th birthday party and i think they had it a couple weeks ago and it was just lavishing and just like pinterest worthy type thing so that's what i heard i wasn't i don't know her so i wasn't invited or anything like that but <clears throat> so when her husband um, asked me to create this for her, I immediately thought of some of my fashion dyes that I have. And the first one that comes to mind is the line of luxury purse card die from Anna Griffin. And this one, oops, oh my goodness, sorry about that. This one is the, I believe it's the um, first of the this auto ship bus. The, whatever you call it, auto ship um, uh, product line. And um, man, this thing is, I hit my head. That's why. Um, and it's actually my favorite. It's, I, so far, I haven't even made the other ones because it just, every time I think of a purse, this one comes to mind. I'm a symmetrical person. And so um, I really like the shape of this card. I actually made a couple um sample when it first came out so it's supposed to make a card kind of like this and you open it up you can write stuff there and then back it's just the you know you make two duplicate and it connects like that right or you can make one where it's like a little a little bag a little actual bag and you can you can leave it open so you can tuck stuff in there and embellishment or whatever you like to do i love this i thought it was super cute and originally i was going to make something like this but i didn't i didn't really i wanted a card card and if i were to glue this onto the front of the card it it would make the card tilt weird um to like this and so it, it's you know this have to be kind of standing on its own and i I wanted her husband to to incorporate a lot more and her husband to be able to um, write some stuff and it's just not enough to put everything inside here. So I decided not to make a, a bag like this, but just to use the front of the, um, the, the, the die to make the front of the card. Um, so that is the quilted purse die. Now to make the card, I actually really like to use, um, I like this effect. I didn't like the matte version of it. I really like the high gloss, you know, kind of like the high fashion purse. Like it's always have, a, you know, gold accessories and, um, you know, high gloss on the leather. So I chose to use the mirror, mirror card from hunky dory which i absolutely love it's really inexpensive as well and it's 220 gsm so it's really nice and thick and also the mirror their gold mirror card which is not a really dark gold it's it's a it's really pretty it's lighter gold and it's it's just perfect shade actually in my opinion so 
I used that also in the gloss, um, in the mirror card version, not the matte version. Okay, I'll show you that in a sec, but let me finish showing you all the, the material that I use it with. Um, so immediately as soon as I thought of making the, the bag, I wanted so badly to use the Wall at Heart collection and, and specifically this particular piece of paper. <laughs> And so on. It's actually the special effects paper. The Wild Heart is from Crafter's Companion. They came out with this, I think, um, middle, um, beginning of last year, I think, or yeah, beginning of beginning of last year or beginning of this year. I can't remember. I have to look in my in my note. But oh, here, yeah, beginning of two thousand, like February two thousand twenty-three, and um, it had a lot of stuff in it: dies, paper pads everything but specifically it had this particular package which has 24 piece you get three of each kind and i took them out so you can see it e easily um but it's flocked so all these animal patches is um is velvety you know so it's really fun really oops god you know i got curlers in my hair and i keep hitting the, the thing anyway um so it's got the giraffe, it got, this one is not flocked, it's more, you know, just raised and um, glossy, sort of in the, in the raised portion of crocodile or snake. And then it has the leopard on here, it's in the pink, awesome. And then a smaller leopard, these are all flocked. And then a pink version of this one, slightly different, right? But it's so pretty, it's so nice. I love it so much. Um, the giraffe I don't love. I wish this is, uh, not giraffe, I'm sorry, zebra. And I wish it was a little bit different. This I like this better, which is I wish this was this, but just in black and white. Uh, because I really like that pattern and actually that's the one I picked the pattern I really liked it but I wanted to use the pink version pink and black isn't this stunning oh my gosh it's so beautiful and it's like so fashiony you know because it's pink it's it's girly um, Dina is very girly according to her husband so I decided to do a black kind of a pink not pale pink but not fuchsia pink either um but just a medium pink and um and white okay so that's kind of the my inspiration to go with that so that's the paper i plan to use and then let me show you briefly <clears throat> the rest of the line because originally i was going to use a bunch of these embellishment it actually did come with an embellishment book it's called a topper pad and <clears throat> <clears throat> my goodness it has four of each of these um nine sheets okay so some has topper sheets some have embellishment and let me show you so you can see i tore a piece out already but i i was pulling out stuff so it's really pretty you know it has a lot of pink in there and so forth even had a purse too and then had one that's stunning, isn't it? But I didn't want to use, she is blonde, but I didn't want to use anything that specifically have a person's face on it because it's it's not her face, so I didn't want that. But it has some cute glasses, champagne glasses, and so forth. They got this one. Look at those stiletto shoes. Isn't that so cute? And the the heart, even the lips is so cute and so on and then you start going to the top of pad these are kind of useless to me they you could put i guess you could put sentiment or you can put um journaling in there but they're too small to be a top of pad in my opinion it's not big enough for anything um because it's really only what is that a four by four um thing okay so then it has more look at those gold lips not stunning so pretty I can't wait to use some of this and then go in pink in purple and and um, aqua it's really nice be your own kind of beautiful and then this one kind of a corally and diva queen hello gorgeous and then i think this is the last one a woman with class is a timeless 
and oh one more and this one got pink so i did use this one it's your birthday go wild because it goes with the paper that i would wanted to use and i took this out but i ended up didn't use it um at all so the only one i really used was this one okay so that's that um beautiful i love it and then the the paper pad itself i end up i didn't they come with 37 piece of paper you got here you got these um what is that 12 paper three each and then one sheet with just sentiment itself that one um so i will show you i will flip through and show you real quick i tore out some so you can it's easy for me to show here's the first piece not fun i i didn't use any of it because i think this pattern is way too big and this was just too busy for what i wanted to do i want to keep it um relatively it's not simple because there's a lot of stuff on there but it's kind of classy a little bit more not too wild and crazy um because i think that's the kind of it's not pretty i love that and this one yeah and yeah i picked these up kind of piece by bit by bit because i was waiting for it to go on sale so i did get many of these at a really good price um because it it was starting to to go on sale about usually the crafter companion stuff go on sale about six months after and then really good sales about a year after if there's anything left so i pick up things that i really like but um the rest of it you know if i want to have it but not dying to have it like the paper pad and stuff i wait until it went as good of a sale as possible and that's on craftercompanion.com not per se hsn but i did pick up several things from hsn like the two paper pad was actually on a really good deal and then the bun they had a bunch of um sentiment on there too so it's very useful and it's all matte okay and <clears throat> i wanted to also complement that with some special effect paper glitter paper or um, mirror card paper and these are the the five sheet it comes with the paper the actual pad comes with um let me see 20 pieces so four of each four of each type and it, this is a gorgeous stunning um glitter uh, in brown glitter paper in brown the black one is really nice as well it's only four of that so i i didn't use it i saved it it does come with a really nice mirror card very similar similar color to the um to the uh what do you call it um look a uh, hunky dory one and um it's it, i think they're very uh, back then um i believe hunky dory was distributed by crafters companion so it may have stuff that even though i know that hunky dory manufactured its own mirror card in-house um it manufactured many of its things uh in-house in the uk so i don't know how the relationship works now but some of their stuff are very similar in style even the the color co company color is purple for both crafter companion and hunky dory and then this um kind of hot pink or fuchsia um i end up i didn't so i have a lot of hunky dory um gold mirror card in the 11 by uh, eight and a half by 11 or a4 so i use that instead because i didn't need the 12 by 12 so i saved these 12 by 12 in case that i ever need something mirror card in the larger size and this pink was just a little bit too pink in uh, you know for my liking so i end up i didn't use that either and then this is the oh the last mirror card is um this fuchsia one too which to me is is not quite pink it's a little bit purplish so i end up didn't use any any of that but i did want to use um a, a glitter paper so i found in my stash i had this dcwv um glitter sh glitter paper pad and it, it's really pretty it's actually have a lot of different pattern that so this is just solid blue it's much thinner and it's it's the kind that have like a a sheet coating on top of the paper which is really not great because it doesn't die cut well 
even gluing and folding it doesn't do well it's better it's best use it's just flat so if you ever get these because i i can tell you i had some trouble when i was um using it in you know when i fold when i score and fold the card this the paper the the coating the glitter coating it doesn't shed but the glitter coating paper start to peel off from the backing paper itself but it's so pretty um so these i may fussy cut out and use them as embellishment so this is the pink one i use and you see the difference so this is much more pink than that um, so I end up using that and I like it a lot although I had a little bit of trouble um, and then oh that's really nice too so this is a very old pad I don't think you can even find it anymore and I don't even know how old it is because it doesn't oh 2011 oh my goodness see how long I've been crafting <laughs> um, and then I also found I also needed a another paper that's not the matte black or the the uh, mirror black um, foil black because I wanted something with a black but with a little bit of pattern for um, the background of the inside of my card which I'll show you in a second so I found in my stash the Anna Griffin animal print um, paper bundle it was it's really pretty I'll show it to you it's it's quite old i think it's i pick it up probably three years ago and so i don't know that you may find it on her website but i'm not sure i, I forgot to take a look but i'll i'll put the name of the product in the description box i will put names of all these products on the description box but below but i i don't know if i'll be able to provide a link for all of them okay um so this is the paper that it comes with it comes with i believe four um 48 and i think there's 12 here let me see there's 48 sheet total so there's this one it's just single-sided this is the same one um kind of like a snake i think right reptile in pink and then the same reptile in kind of like a greenish gold and then you have croc in a brown black and a black and you have um oh my gosh what is this ostrich in that kind of a <clears throat> greenish pale green and beautiful pink i love this one and then kind of a dark green and then in leopard you have, yeah there's 12 design four of each in leopard they have this one kind of i love that and then the more traditional golden brown and then they have this one which i don't know what to call it just like worn leather they had it in the uh kind of a rust brown and this black which that's the one i picked to use um for the inside of my card okay so that's i will go through there's a couple more things that i use for the card but i will go through it uh go through it after i start showing you the card because it it will make sense in this in a little bit okay so we got that. Let's put that away. So this is my card. Isn't that stunning? I decided to use, now the card base is a Hunky Dory 8x8 card base. And I use it as a, um, as a tent fold. Okay, so the vertical fold. Um, I put the, um, the, the foil card stock in the, in the back. I put foam tape on top of the you know on the card base so it shows up and then um i die cut the handles and i re-die cut it in gold and just cut out the gold part so i can um, paper piece it on top of here it makes it looks much more you know authentic i did the same thing with the with the little um, logo plate or whatever you call it that thing and then i've i um I just glue it directly onto the um the, the 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 cart the cart front but i did because this is raised i did put foam foam pad on on the handle itself and i did use um hunky dory has foam pad in black so i used the black one so it doesn't show up at all because you know i had to put them all in these section because i didn't want it to press down at all so isn't that cute um 
so the black here is um is the mirror black uh, cardstock from hunky dory that's the so i end up i use the whole i actually just used the 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 card i didn't use a card blank i'm sorry i did not use the card blank i just used the a4 cardstock that they have and then i just join it right here where um you know it's because it wasn't long enough and i don't think it show up too well but if it does so what right <laughs> it's okay um i didn't like that as much when it, it's show a little bit there but in any case um this is a beautiful sentiment um stickers from anna griffin from an older set which i think you can still get it but i did trim it down a little bit because the white part was quite large and it didn't it didn't have enough gold because the only gold on the on the back piece was these dotted line there so i added a piece of i just trace it and cut around you know make it a little bit bigger and i just um put that on top of the i mean be behind the whole thing so the um the sticker has some gold backing and this is a bowl i got um a set of multicolor bow i love this bow it's so cute um from aliexpress a while back um i was gonna use the anna griffin bow she has really beautiful satin bow but it it had tails and i didn't it didn't look right when I cut the tail and the pink wasn't quite the right pink either so this come much closer to that um, the front of the card because I wanted to keep the pink kind of go in line with this on the outside so that's the pink color but inside the 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 card the pink I use is a lot stronger which is like that glitter card I was showing you so I decided to make a um, pop-up card and this is what it came out to be. Isn't that so fun? I love it. Oh, I forgot to pull out this to show you. Um, so that's the that's the glitter card from a DCWV. You see how it start pulling up from the background card there. I try to glue it down, but it's still I better I better get that because. You keep pulling up but that's the um that you see it that's the glitter paper pulling up from its own backing paper which is so annoying um so anyway and then i also figure out how to i did all of these pop-up thing myself because the only one the the only die that i have to create pop-up is only for a couple of pop-up thingy and it's for a much smaller card so i didn't like that at all and so i use a a um uh, the template the pop-up template of a card i had from anna griffin that's a pop-up but it's a five by seven and this is an eight by eight card and i just measure it and make sure it fits and i just created a total of five pop-up uh, thingy instead of just the three that it normally comes up when the card is much smaller okay so that's what you see here um the um these you know the 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 um embellishment from the wild heart uh, collection was beautiful but the pink was not strong enough it was all a little bit pale so i decided to go online and i found these uh I think they were from like um, car um, print print uh, canvas print that they were on sale or some or whatever. So I just I cheated. I download and just cut it up. This one I had to blow up quite a bit. Some of them I blow up. Some of it I blow down, and and so on. And I just kind of lay around. I download quite a few for myself to, to use, but I just pick what I like and the sizing I like and add them on. These were from an um, embellishment die called the Flourish die from Anna Griffin. So I cut out a few of these in the mirror cardstock and just lay them, them layer them behind just to create a little bit of interest because this bar was kind of long and it was just so plain so adding a, few, a couple of these just make it nicer you know and and so on um 
this was the label um, um, from the embellishment uh, topper book from uh, Well at Heart. I added her name to it. This is the um, Dyna Pr Dyna Diamond Press Alphabet um, set, which is like sticker sheets. And I love this set, although it doesn't come with enough <laughs> enough of anything so eventually very soon I probably run out of things to be able to use it for because there's not enough vowels there's not whatever um I don't I I asked her husband for a photo of her this is actually from her birthday party just two weeks ago um which was earlier because they were going on vacation so she decided to do it before the vacation then they just came back and now it's just tom tomorrow they're just going to do a um you know a get together with just the families and more casual versus the birthday party this is from also the uh, anna griffin flourish die and um i just did that in a two by two cut it you, you see how i have to join it because again the paper wasn't long enough because this is 16 and paper is only 12 so i joined it there but i i don't think it looks bad um so this one was holding that down to you. These, these uh, letter, I mean, these numbers is from um, the Crafter Companion. I don't, I thought I save aside to show you, but it's the everyday numbers die set. It's, it's new. It's sold out on HSN. I don't know if it's on, I don't, I didn't see it on Crafter's Companion, but it's really pretty. Oh, it's just a set of numbers and then they have, a, a tray a kind of like um a tray um a, a pedestal tray and then the wick and the um the wick and the uh, oh i gotta get this i have to get that remind me to get that um glue off of the wick um and i just die cut it in gold and that glitter um and just offset it a little bit to bring it out more okay and that's that and then for to for her to for her family to sign it i asked them to make sure that this was enough space because i could actually just make this whole thing a um a, a panel for sentiment but um i thought this was much prettier this is a die from from um anna griffin called um, the crisscross the crisscross le fleur crisscross square dies and it's really pr pretty it's supposed to f you fold these inside and then that create a, a like a six by six um card thingy no not not even six by six like a five by five um card you know and you, you can open it but i decided just to use the panel by itself and then i had this um kind of uh, insert they call it insert paper from hunky dory it's a it's the it's a lighter color, muted, more muted color paper that you can use on the inside of your card. And I really wanted to, it was slanted diagonally, but I really wanted to, to use it like this so her family can use the line to sign the card. But I had to join it on that space because it wasn't, because it was not meant to be this way. So I had to cut it a different a different way um in order to make it go this way actually i made a mistake i did it it did come out one panel and i made a mistake and i glued it the wrong way and i couldn't pull it out so then i had to join it. it's okay then i embellish a little bit of it and then there's my my little um handmade by me type thing and my website and is that so cute did you like it please let me know what you think i really um would welcome your thoughts on this and so on and if you guys have have done your own pop-up card and stuff and maybe you have other tricks that you can share with me in terms of how to make that easier um it was not too too hard but i did have to make a quite a few um i cut all these with um with craft knife by the way okay and then um oh and the what was i what did i oh and i use for this there were the 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 one from crafter companion was way too purplish so hunky dory has one that's in like a mirror card that's in kind of like a darker pink and a lighter pink and although the darker pink goes better 
with the inside of the card. Um, I like the lighter pink much more because it goes better with the outside and also with the embellishment. So I decided to use the lighter color pink that they have here. Okay, and that's what I use for that. Uh, by the way, um, Crafter Companion has all of these. They have dies. They have stamps, which I have them all. They have a lot of stencil um, and, um, and so on. And I, I have them all, and I was going to try to use them, but they're tiny. They're smaller. Actually, they're not that tiny, but I, I decided I rather like the more uniform look of the, um, the stuff I, I was able to find on the internet. Okay. Um, okay. And then to create the envelope, I want, I want something. A little, so originally I found, I wanted something large because the envelope is bigger than an eight by eight card. Um, so, and her name is so short. So I found these K and company, an old set of, um, uh, chipboard alpha called smitten. Um, it's really cute. It's like all nice and glitter and light pink, but it's too light. It's too light everywhere. And I just didn't, you know, I really wanted to change the color. So <laughs> I use my, um, my uh, uh, Spectrum Noir Crafter Companion craft markers. And I, I picked out the perfect, you know, I tested them all and was checking to make sure the, the, the pen I use, the marker I use was the right pink with the, because basically I wanted to match it to the glitter card. But at the end, after I use it on top of here, because there was pink on the outside, this is the color it turns out to you. It's kind of most, it's just a wacko color. It's not even, it doesn't match anything at all, but it's on the outside, so it's, it's okay. So I use the marker to make just, you know, with the, with the, just to draw a straight line with the ruler. And then I use my, um, Anna Griffin had the this frame die. I use one of them, um, this one right here, to the the middle one, because originally when I put the 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 chipboard alphas right onto the card, it just even though it's that dark, it's just too much white and not enough things. So I decided to create a label in the black uh, mirror card and then put that glue that on top and by the way all the glue I use for the most part except for except for this because this the mirror card you can't use these uh, the craft construction glue from hunky dory on there it tend to it's it's the chemical it tend to eat up the card so on this I just use um, uh, tape you know the double-sided tape on here but on anything a lot of the other stuff I either use tape or I use um, I use um, you know um, or construction glue if it allows me to okay so that's that's what it is all right and then in the back I glue a one of the embellishment that I found on here and then on this on the back side I'm gonna put a removable um, stripped of, um, of glue tape and that way he can seal it when he give it to her but she can easily lift it up without ruining the thing but it stay close yeah so you can see the alcohol marker goes all the way through but I don't think I don't think they would care so there it is I hope you like it I took me a long time to finish the card come up with all the concept and everything else but i hope she love it i don't think that i i charge a lot for these kind of cards so it's okay that i took my time to come up with a concept that i think they would both love so in any case i hope you are doing well i will t um, have a amazing fourth of july celebration and a uh, week and whatever and i uh, hope you see lots of fireworks i don't know that we will go see fireworks this year we will see um but um have a great great fun middle of the week vaca vacation or day off and i will talk to you soon bye